Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All info, no fluff. So let's get to it. From today, I'm talking slightly slower per popular demand. So just 125 exit if you're used to our normal speed. Today's video is a tip for people who use drum samples or use kits like Superior Drummer, GGD, Contact Drum Libraries, or Reaper's very own Rio Samplomatic 5000. I want to show you how to get to this workflow when you edit drums or whatever you have, where I have all my notes named based on what sample they're triggering, like kicks or snare or my hi-hats and i see no other notes other than those notes in my midi editing window so let's just start with a fresh track here no text so in case you don't know you can right click on any key and name it whatever you want so i can name my c1 as bd which stands for bass drum and that's basically universal in most drum plugins and in general midi um you know then i can name my d1 as snare and so on but this obviously will take ages to do manually and you have to hear a sound and name it one by one so today we're gonna nerd out out a little bit to accelerate this process still it's a bit of work but something you do once and enjoy easy drum editing forever so first let's do something real quick i'm gonna right click on the gray area above my piano roll and i'm gonna go to file i'm gonna go to notes cc names and then go save notes cc names to file and i'm gonna save my current map with these two lines that we added let's give it a name and now let's go open this file now so it's a simple text file with mini note numbers and then the text corresponding to each note number if you don't know what midi note numbers are um we can go back to reaper and as you can see i got this white square on the gray area where it says the note name that i'm on and then it says a number i personally memorized them a long time ago when i used to write music with guitar pro if you remember that so a good rule of thumb for figuring it out is also to know that c is always a multiply of 12 so c1 i know to be 36 and that makes b0 35 and c sharp 1 37 and so on so instead of writing on reaper obviously we can just use a word processor and if we format it the way you see reaper formats it we can then load it into reaper i also don't want to write each note name manually so let's try something currently i'm using a drum library from east west ghostwriter series so maybe if we look up a user manual they would have their drum mappings written in there and we can just copy and paste it and sure enough here it is and it's written out on this little map here so i'm going to just copy all of this and obviously we can just paste it into reaper and hope for it to work so instead i'm going to use use google sheets to do a few things to it so go to google sheets open a new file and i can't paste all the values there because they will all go in one square but i can click on a square go to edit and go paste special values only and that just pastes everything we copied as plain text and it'll give each line its own square okay so that's nice but we need to change those note names to the corresponding midi note number now and right now this is reversed so we need to fix that too i want to click on this square to the left of our column type one hit down type Two. Then I'm going to select both of them and drag on the little blue square in the edge there and just drag it down all the way to the bottom and it'll automatically number the rest of the column so then you click on the little arrow on the column header where you numbered it and go sort range z to a so this reverses everything and this is the easiest way to reverse something without scripting in google sheets as i said earlier c1 is 36 and our first note a sharp zero or b flat zero would be 34 because it's two seven tones below so now i'll click on the first square again this time type 34 then hit down type 35 and once again select both and drag the little square down and now we have the note names on one column and titles on the next um, i'm going to select all of them hit command and c to copy and now i'm going to open text edit now in text edit we can't just command v here because it'll paste the squares as well it'll paste it as a table but you can go to edit you can go paste and match style and it'll just paste the values there so boom there we go we can already open this with reaper but it's a little cluttered so let's declutter this a bit so that the names fit neatly in the name bar in piano roll and reaper so once again we can automate this process a lot so i'm going to do two things and then you'll see why after i did them they may not make sense right away first i'm going to go to edit find find and replace and now I can search for anything in that top text bar and then replace it with whatever's on the bottom text bar. And if there's nothing, then it'll just delete it. So first I'm gonna type Octothorpe or hashtag or you know the sharp sign. And I'm gonna get rid of all the sharps and you'll see why in a second. Next we're gonna just delete these values one by one, the note names, we don't need to see it, right? When it comes to like drum editing. So I'm just gonna drag and erase them one by one. Just kidding. We're not gonna do it one by one, that's noob shit. Here's a trick. 
trick that I was furious nobody taught me when I discovered it. If you hold Alt or Option and drag up and down, kind of works like a marquee tool. So you can delete text that is right below each other. So I'm just gonna drag and select all the remaining note names and that first space before our text. And I'm just gonna hit delete. Boom. You can leave it here or we can declutter this even more. For example, let's look for the word drum and replace it with nothing. We know it's a drum. We know it's a snare drum. It's a kick drum. It's a bass drum, whatever. And let's do the same to the word symbol. I know what a bell or crash or ride is. Then we can take the word hi-hat and replace it with HH. And I'll replace kick with BD, which stands for bass drum. And I can just shorten the word snare to SNR. So I can even copy this middle dash here, paste it up here and get rid of that as well. Let's in fact get rid of all the spaces. So now I'm going to click on the top title bar here and rename this to something appropriate. EW East West uh, Ghost Rider Drum Map. And let's save it in the same folder as Reaper just so they're together. Now I can finally go back to Reaper. And now we'll right click on the gray area again, file, node CC names, load node CC names from file, and then I'm gonna go choose file. And Bob's your uncle. There's our names. So going back to your MIDI editing window, go to your MIDI toolbar up here, and if you haven't changed it, you can click on the second icon from the left, or you can hit option two to get to this view, and everything is there. Now to show only those notes, I have this command on my toolbar here. It's called view, hide unused and unnamed note rows. Um, and this is also useful for articulations. If you have a key switch, instrument same deal you know try to locate the list of key switch values from the user manual paste it into google sheets number it and reverse it if you need to otherwise just number the midi note names which you can get from reaper paste the text edit strip any values you want and shorten them or what have you save it as a txt file and load it from Reaper. With key switches, you can even switch back to piano roll in your MIDI editing window by pressing option one. So you can still see the note names, but you can also see the keys for higher octaves so, so that it's easier on your eyes. So there you go, <laughs> real nerdy stuff today, but this kind of thing just excites me so much. Yeah, I don't know, this is why I love Reaper. You gotta do stuff like this and you gotta sometimes use another program to make doing something easier, you know? And I honestly love doing stuff like this. It gives me weird pleasure to do clever tasks like this and it's a way of procrastinating so who doesn't like that but yeah i understand if this is too much work for you but again i think the payoff will make it worth it since i'm so nice and since i actually do enjoy doing stuff like this i want to do something comment below with the name of the drum plugin you use so i don't know ggd or easy drummer or superior drummer whatever you got and i will create its midi map and put it on my website um so you can download it and it can be you know available for download for other people's and it can be some kind of a resource for folks to share or if you made some you can send them to me and i'll put them all in the same place i'll credit you or whatever and we can share our work together you know build a community all that jazz uh, so that's it for today make sure to check the blog section of my website because every few of these tutorials i'll put all the kind of custom actions and toolbar icons and toolbars and commands themselves like key maps and things like that uh, whatever i cover in the tutorials that can be given to you i just you know have them available for free download there so definitely check that out if you're interested all the kind of midi editing um, goodies will be on one blog post and i'll see you on thursday with another rapid fire reaper tutorial meanwhile check out some of the other videos in this playlist or this video which has been chosen for you by the old algorithm all right take care bye bye